Hello everyone. Have you ever heard of yarn bombing? Yarn bombing is kind of like a form of knitting graffiti. In a way, it's when you go out to like a public structure, like a light pole or a fence, and you cover it with yarn. In a way, it's like, unlike tape, it's not really permanently damaging to the like piece outside. But it is like graffitiing still, so I kind of like I kind of want to do it, but I don't want to get in trouble for it. So I'm going to yarn bomb something on my family's property. So that way it's like we're just decorating our house, you know? And I know exactly what I would yarn bomb. There's a trellis. I guess that's the name for what it is. Um like that we can see from the kitchen window. I'm going to insert a picture of that now. Anyway, I didn't know what I was going to yarn bomb on it, but now I kind of know what I'm going to do. So I'm going to do it. And I'm going to do it in a way that surprised my parents. Like, um, I'm not going to tell my parents I'm doing it until after it's done. So I'm thinking like it's Christmas time, I'm gonna make a reef. And I've got the yarn. You may remember this yarn from the frogging video where I used it to take apart a hat. I actually started the hat again. I finished the hat and it looks amazing, but I haven't actually tried it at work. So I don't know if it works or not. But we got more yarn. So uh, I'm gonna use that to make like a reef part. And then, uh, because it's December 23rd and it's cold outside, I want to make as much of this indoors as possible. And I don't necessarily want to drag the trellis indoors. So I'm going to use a corker, which uh, is kind of like ground knitting. And when it's this small, it makes what's called an I cord, which is short for idiot cord because any idiot can make it. Yeah, I have a lot of these for some reason. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to make like a red bow and tie the red bow up top. And it's going to be cute and it's going to be classy. So in order to use like these, like when it gets bigger, this is called loom knitting. Because you kind of have like the poles and then it's kind of like you're using a loom, you know. That description was not as elegant as the idiot description, but yeah. Why is this so naughty? But if you ever like wanted to knit and you're having trouble with de dexterity, but you still want that knitted look, the loom knitting actually can be a good alternative. No, I just contributed to that knot anyway. Um, I'm going to take this apart somehow. Okay. Come on, knot. There you go. So what's handy about this one is it actually has like a little handy thing to keep the tension for the string. But you dip the string inside. You kind of put your thumb through here and you kind of hold it down. And then you wrap the yarn around. I want it to go the other way. You kind of just circle it around like that. When you get it all around it, you put the yarn in this part right here. So that way, you see when I spin it around, it just automatically threads it. So then I take this little hooky thing, which also has a handy spot to keep it. And I just pull it over. Well, I kind of want to keep my finger in there for like the first loop. 
pull the bottom loop over the first loop and it's literally just you spin it around and you do that over and over again obviously when you spin something around like that many times um it's going to get twisted and you periodically have to go around and untwist it to make it look nice again you also have to periodically go and pull on it to pull the stitches tighter so it looks smoother Anyway, I got to do this for a really, really long time because the trellis is over my height. It's like over six feet tall. And then I got to wrap it around. I already know it's going to be longer. It's probably going to take the rest of this ball. <laughs> um, I just got to do this for a really, really long time. Anyway, I'm going to check back in with you guys when this is a little bit longer so you can see uh, more about how it looks. All right, so you can see now I've got a little bit going on. and You see how the inside, it looks a bit loose. What we do here is we just pull the bottom and it tightens up to the way it's supposed to be. They may notice there's this little hole right here. If I wanted it to like sit on the table, I could just pull it through like that and then it just goes through here and that way I can just leave it on the table and keep working except I almost never do that because I'm always holding it as I'm doing it. Now as this gets longer and longer um, the hard part is to make sure that it doesn't get twisted. So part of what I do is every so often I will twist this in the other direction so that way it doesn't get too twisted on me because if it gets too twisted it doesn't look as nice <laughs> it's um it's like if the yarn is constantly twisted like that you can see that doesn't look as nice as if I just let it go kind of loose Yeah, we're, we're going to do some movie magic in which I suddenly have a long piece now. All right. So it's Christmas morning. My parents are not up yet, who I am surprising this with. I have the pieces made. It looks like it was just raining. But this part is underneath the awning and should be fine. Oh, and I thought I was going to be able to reach that. All right. I hope I made enough. We'll see. I want to try to put this on without taking this down because taking this down would be noisy, but it depends on if I can reach that. Okay. It's not as cold as I expect it to be, honestly. Do I know if this is going to be long enough? find out. Feel some water. Good thing this is cheap time. So the goal is to get it all the way to the bottom of the trellis part and I think I'm going to make it. Okay. Looks like no one's coming in the kitchen yet. I mean, they're asleep right now, but this is around the time one of them wakes up. Well, they both could be awake at this time. It's around the time one of them wakes up willingly.
may have overshot it a little bit, but it's better to have overshot with this than it would have been to run up short. And here we go. We're just going to wrap it around the top here. this knot here and tie the two of these together. Good thing about yarn bombing is that it doesn't have to be perfect. Just keep on wrapping it around and we're going to tuck it in. There you go. Now for the piece de resistance, we're putting a bow on the top. If I can reach it. All right. Get it rearranged now. And we have our yarn bomb reef. <laughs> now we'll just have to see the reactions in at least two hours. <laughs> we'll see. All right, so now I'm going to tell you about the reactions to the yarn bombing. I didn't film the reactions to the yarn bombing because my parents would have found out about this at breakfast when they were still wearing bathrobes. So uh, that's not really a look that they would feel comfortable having on the internet. <laughs> so I, I didn't bother even filming. But uh, yeah, my dad came in first and he he caught it within the first like five minutes. He was looking out the window and I was like, what is that? And then realized I, I had to explain yarn bombing to him afterwards. And once he realized I was what I was doing, he's like, did the squirrels leave you alone while you did that? <laughs> Which about the reaction I would expect from dad. And then, uh, mom came in slightly later and, uh, it actually took her longer to figure it out, <laughs> to realize that something was going on. But that's also because she decided to show me a photo on her phone and I pointed out to her that because she was using the live function on her iPhone, that what she thought were just straight photos were actually GIFs and were eating up more storage space. So uh, she was very absorbed in that for a good 10 minutes or so. <laughs> But then when she found out, she's like, oh, what is that? You decorated. Oh, you, you yarn bombed out there. Did you yarn bomb the back too? And I'm just like, no, it was only there. Like, it's like, oh, like, um, she was very, very happy with it. <laughs> and then later on when we were having Christmas dinner and we were like video talk, like conferencing with, uh, my sister and sister-in-law and she's like tell them what you did tell them what you did and, um then I had to explain the yarn bombing and they just smiled but they they weren't surprised at all like th this is what they expect from me so yeah overall a positive response uh I'm probably going to leave it up for a while and when it comes time to take it down because I used only knots it'll be pretty easy to take it down um yeah it it was a uh, it was a good experience I think maybe next time I'll have to put a little bit more thought into it because it went up like really quickly <laughs> but uh yeah that was today's entertainment have a nice day